They're at it again, folks. And by that I mean there is another scammy wig store out there that is ripping off content creators here on YouTube in an attempt to rip off you. Or to rip you off. You know what I mean. <laughs> In this case, to somebody like me or to anybody in the audience who is really plugged into this situation, you would realize that this right away is a scam website. And in fact, we found out about it because um, a woman named Kathleen, who is not our Kathleen Ryan, but you know, another Kathleen, let us know that this was happening. So shout out to Kathleen. Thank you so much for letting us know about this. The website is called Dozed? Dozed? Who cares? It's a BS name from our BS website. And I wouldn't, I would imagine that basically every single image on this website has been stolen because they're stealing images from me, the ladies from Mimi's Wig Boutique, Jill Lynn from Jill Lynn Beauty Therapy, Taz and all of the women from Wig Studio One from what I can tell, Nisha from Sugar Puff and Fluff, and a whole bunch of others. I would believe that basically none of us were contacted to ask our permission. I would believe that none of us were really aware that this was happening because that's usually the case with these scammy websites. And yeah, they're advertising any three wigs for 50 bucks. You know they're not gonna be good. <laughs> you know they're not gonna be good. So all of the hallmarks of scammy website, scammy website, scammy website, are right there. There are three really big signs that you might be encountering a scam wig website. And the three most obvious signs, the ones that are almost always supposed to send off alarm bells, ring, 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 but something is wrong. I think the, the most glaring thing that should stand out if you're questioning whether or not it's a scam site is, do the images appear to be stolen? If the images look like they're obviously stolen, Chances are you're dealing with the scammer because if they're willing to steal images, what else are they willing to steal? So that's a pretty big one. And another example of stolen images, is, you know, do you see Raquel Welch wig images that you can identify are obviously Raquel Welch, you know, because she's famous, <laughs> being used on a product that isn't Raquel Welch? Like on this dozed, dozed website, uh, I saw images of, let's say, Jane Fonda. I guarantee you Jane Fonda did not give them permission to use her image for their promotional use. Most celebrity endorsed brands carry a premium price point because of a lot of reasons, but one of those reasons is because it's expensive to get a celebrity to endorse a product. So they get part of part of the revenue from that. Um, they're basically licensing out their name. And so there, I have a hard time believing that Jane Fonda would want her personal brand and her name to be associated with extra super duper cheap $20 synthetic wigs. I have a sneaking suspicion that if a celebrity like that wanted to start her own wig brand, they'd probably be trying to attach them to well-made, if not luxury products that were worthy of carrying their brand name. So that is an obvious example of a stolen image. Anytime you see celebrity images being used on a wig website, you should be aware of that website because they're stealing that image of that celebrity to move that product. And that celebrity probably did not give them permission to do so. You know, there are obvious exceptions like Raquel Welch, but, but she only gives permission for people to use them on Raquel Welch brand wigs. Same thing with Vivica Fox and a whole bunch of others. So if somebody is selling a wig with an image of Sherry Shepard and it's not a Sherry Shepard brand wig or a brand that you know that she publicly endorses, it's a stolen image. And that would also count as a big red flag. I think another obvious sign are the prices too good to be true. As in, are they offering virgin Remy blonde human hair wigs? with a lot of lace features for $20. Because you're not going to find that, ever. It's not going to exist, ever. Human hair is basically worth its weight in gold and depending on the color and how it was sourced and the kind of person it was sourced from and if it was sourced ethically, that human hair can actually be worth more than its weight in gold. So there's absolutely no way you're going to get an ethically sourced human hair wig at a low price point. And I'm talking for less than a hundred bucks. 
And if you're paying $20 for a human hair wig, it's probably not even human hair at all let alone something that was ethically sourced. And it's definitely not going to be as described and it's definitely not going to be, you know, a really beautiful, perfect looking wig like in the images. If they're gonna steal images from Raquel Welch, what else are they gonna be willing to steal? And if they're saying that they're selling something with a Raquel Welch wig image that's, you know, 40, 30, 20, 10 dollars, absolutely no way that that's going to be real because these brands have a real investment in protecting the image of their brand and their, their the image of the brand is that it is a premium product. They wouldn't want to dilute that by selling those wigs at a really low price. And frankly, I'm paying more wholesale than that. So if any store was actually selling those wigs at that price, they'd be losing a lot of money in the process. Uh, the other thing that's really important to look out for is, is there an intellectual property rights page on the website because a reputable wig store would not need to have a landing page for people to complain about their images being stolen. So if you see a website like this that has a web page that says intellectual property, property rights embedded into it, it's precisely because they're stealing images and this is their way to try to get around that. They're putting the burden on the content creators to complain about their images being stolen. A reputable website wouldn't need to do that because they wouldn't be stealing those images in the first place. So this is a pretty big giveaway in and of itself as well. We're gonna do a little scroll through of the dozed Dot com website, but before we take that wild magical mystery tour, I would like to urge you to avoid the temptation to place curiosity buys. Every time one of these scam sites crops up, there are always a handful of people who still buy even if they know it's a scam because they want to see if perhaps they may have maybe found something that wasn't just too good to be true. And I urge you to avoid that temptation when all three of those red flags are flying in your face. You should really be careful because you need to know what that money is actually being used for. The money you spend in scammy sites it is what encourages more scam sites to crop up. It's what encourages them to rip off online content creators and feel like they can get away with it because it's profitable even when they can't. And it's also being used to rip off people who may not know what these red flags are and may not know that they're potentially signing up to be scammed. So even though you might be individually willing to take that risk, I would still like to try to argue that you shouldn't because that money is being used to do things that we wouldn't want that money to be used for in a healthy, thriving community. We would want to look out for people who may not know that they're about to be conned. So even if you are a little bit more savvy than that, I would urge you to use that intuition to avoid placing order with orders with these scammy sites precisely because of what that money ultimately endorses. All right, so we're gonna take a little run through the dozed website. And right on the front page, you can see Taz. You can see what is probably an advertisement on Instagram. I believe I've actually seen that before. A lot of these human hair wigs can be very, very pricey. So absolutely not. You can see Nisha from Sugar Puff and Fluff. There's Taz again. Um, unfortunately, Taz seems to be a pretty regular target. And you can, you can, and so am I, which is funny because if you actually look at the images they're pulling for my screen grab, I don't smile as much in my videos. <laughs> at least not the ones where I'm showcasing the hair because sometimes I'm like, serious. And they pick all of these screen grabs of me or I'm like, or like making an O face. Like, Poor Nisha, that is not a flattering picture. So another nitpicky word of criticism about these scammers, they're just taking shameless screen captures from our videos and they're, they're not picking flattering images of any of us. Like some of this is not even very well lit. Um, and you can see that there are a lot of very familiar faces right on the homepage. So if you go to new arrivals, you'll see what they got, or yeah, okay. So, Scroll down, scroll down. Look, that's not even well lit. But I do appreciate on a weird level that they're equal opportunity with some of my like before weight loss headshots. But I mean, 
you can see the difficulty that they had finding a decent image. Because look at that. Because I would always crop out my body when I was that big because I was kind of self-conscious about it a little bit. And so they have to make, they had to screen grab an image where like at least a third of the image is my wall. <laughs> That's not even a good picture. And in this one, you can't even see the wig. That is how comically bad this attempt to rip off our, our YouTube videos has been. Um, so I'm going to I'm gonna keep scrolling down because it's ridiculous. Like, I think that's Trista, I want to say, but I'm not really sure. I don't know who that is, but I know that that's probably somebody else who is also getting ripped off right now, which is not cool. Same here. Like, this is not cool to rip off content creators. Like, and even in the case of Taz, obviously, I got a beef with Taz, but she doesn't deserve this. <laughs> like, none of us deserve to have our images used in this fashion without our permission. You know, there's Roxy from wigs.com. She only works in wigs for wigs.com. Like she, she models apparel as well. She is a working professional model. She deserves to get paid her day rate for what they are doing with her images here. You know, there's Jill Lynn. That is a, an Adderance hair goods. So that is a Billy from Noriko. And that is a, a shot of Billy from Noriko. Adderance owns those images. So they own that IP. So this is not just a random person they're ripping off. They're ripping off Adderance. And Adderance has the money to go after that. So that was not real smart. One of the ladies from Mimi's, right? So, I mean, you can recognize some of these faces. And you can recognize that there's probably no scenario on Earth where we would all be on the same website. There's Patty. So Patty is being ripped off. So, you know, you can keep scrolling down and it's basically like a who's who. That's an image from a Forever Young wig. So Forever Young hires professional models. They're getting ripped off. You can see that there are a Raquel Welch images being ripped off. Tressalore is currently being ripped off. Aesthetica is being ripped off. So they're not just ripping off online content creators. They're ripping off these brands as well. So if you are a fan of any of us content creators, if you are a fan of any of these brands, or if you just think that this is a complete bullpucky and these, these kinds of stores should not be able to get away with this, I would highly encourage you to help me make this as annoying as possible for these stores. <laughs> if you see them on Facebook, let them know this isn't cool, right? And I, and I hate to tell you guys over and over again, hey, we got to get you involved. But in this case, when it comes to this scammy stuff, I think it's really important because it protects us as a community. It protects the people in the community. It protects the people talking to the community and it protects the brands who make stuff that the community is all talking about. So I think that makes this a pretty good cause, at least from my perspective. So again, I will leave those details in the description of this video. If you think that other content creators need to be aware of this issue as well, please share this information with them and this video. And again, thank you to Kathleen for reaching out to our help desk. And again, that's not Kathleen Ryan, but hey, hi, Kathleen Ryan. <laughs> but I wanna say thank you to Kathleen for writing into our help desk. She saw an ad for this particular um, wig store on Facebook because they had ripped off images of me in my Piper wig. She she knew immediately that that was a Sister Wigs exclusive and there was no way that we would actually give a website like this permission to use that image. And she was right in making that assessment and she was absolutely correct in letting us know about it. So help us spread the word, help our community. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful afternoon, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>